This is uh, section six, session 16 of endocrinology and reproduction topic and uh, in this session we are going to study another type of hormone action that is genomic action and this type of hormone action involves steroid hormone. So, a genomic mechanism of hormone action refers to the regulation of target gene activity by hormones via their protein receptors. Now, which also possesses all the features of a transcription factor. Now, here we are talking about the protein receptor which is having the feature of a transcription factor. Now, this mechanism engages transcription and translation. Its biological effects are executed by a newly synthesized protein. Now, receptors for steroid hormones and thyroid hormones, they are located inside the target cell. So, they have intracellular receptors and they function as ligand dependent transcription factor. So, they are nothing but transcription factors, but they are dependent upon the ligand which is going to bind to them. And in this case, the ligand is nothing but the hormone molecule which uh, reaches the cell and then passes through the plasma membrane and then enters into the cytoplasm or the nucleus. Now, hormone receptor complex binds to promoter region of responsive genes and stimulate or sometimes inhibit transcription from those genes. Now, the steroid hormone or the thyroid hormone, once it enters into the cell, it will bind to the receptor and here receptor is nothing but, uh, receptor is nothing but uh, transcription factor. So, this combination of receptor and hormone will go and bind to the promoter region of the DNA. Uh, uh, promoter region of the D uh, gene. So, here it is actually going and binding to the DNA, uh, the DNA molecule which is the genetic material of the cell and it may be stimulatory or inhibitory. That means when it goes and binds to a particular gene, so either that, e that gene is going to be activated for the expression or if it is already expressing, uh, that gene will be suppressed. So, steroid hormone and thyroid hormones have uh, two kinds of functions. Either they are going to stimulate a gene for further action or they are going to inhibit already functioning gene. So, the mechanism of action of steroid hormones is to modulate gene expression in the target cells. Now, uh, structure of intracellular receptors. So, in the previous sessions, we already studied intracellular receptors are there for the steroid hormones. These receptors are composed of a single polypeptide chain that has three distinct domains. Now, one domain, so we'll start from this point, the carboxyl terminus or ligand binding domain. So, this is the most important domain because it is the one which binds to the hormone. This is specific for that particular hormone. And the second one is the DNA binding domain. Okay, the part of the receptor which is going to bind to the DNA molecule. And the amino terminus. This region involved in activating or stimulating transcription by interacting with other components of the transcriptional machinery. So, the intracellular receptor has three important domains. One uh, which binds to the hormone one which points to the DNA and the other domain which will interact with other transcriptional factors. The complex which is involved in the transcription of the gene, so it will interact with those mo uh, molecules and uh, either inhibit or stimulate. Now, uh, hormone receptor binding and interaction with DNA, how it happens, let us see. Steroid hormones enter the cell by simple diffusion across the plasma membrane, whereas the thyroid hormone enters cell by facilitated diffusion. Now, facilitated diffusion is the one which uh, takes the help of other molecules for coming into the cell, to enter into the cell. The receptors exist either in the cytoplasm or nucleus. 
and uh, when hormone binds to the receptor a characteristic series of events occur so receptor activation is the conformational changes in the receptor induced by binding hormone the major consequence of activation is that the receptor becomes competent to bind dna now this is very important receptor is already there in the cytoplasm or nucleus but it will not go and bind to the dna it will not go and bind to the gene on its own it becomes competent to bind to the dna to bind with the gene only after it interacts with the hormone that means arrival of hormone is necessary for this receptor to go and bind to the target gene so activated receptors bind to the hormone response elements which are short specific sequences of dna they are located in promoter uh, region of the hormone responsive gene so in the dna genes are there the genes which will be activated by such hormones so those genes have a sequence a specific sequence part which is called hormone response element so the hormone receptor complex will go and bind with such regions of the gene uh, simply speaking the hormone receptor complex will go and bind with the promoter region of the gene now transcription from those genes to which the receptor is bound is affected so once it binds either it is going to uh, stimulate it or inhibit it depending upon the requirement now receptor binding stimulates transcription or inhibits it now uh, this is how the hormone receptor complex functions as a transcription factor uh, <clears throat> transcription factor so now points to remember steroid hormones can have activating or inhibiting effect on the genes so it is not always stimulating it may be stimulating or inhibitory and only a particular set of genes are regulated so uh, here one uh, the special thing is steroid hormones have specific target cells and inside the cells they are going to target only a specific gene not all the genes are targeted by these hormones they are going to target only the specific genes which are associated with its function the genes contain specific sequences and are located in multiple copies in promoter region and are called hormone response elements so we already discussed about this hormone response elements are the regions of the gene to which this complex is going to bind and in most of the cases they are present in multiple copies so that it it facilitates the easy binding of hormone receptor complex to the dna the same hormone may activate different genes in different types of cells so this is expected the uh, the hormone the same hormone will uh, bind to one gene in one cell and it may bind to another gene in another cell so uh, this is about how the steroid hormones will bind to the receptor inside the cell and they will go and bind to the dna and uh, gene part and they are going to activate that gene so this is how the steroid hormones and thyroid hormones function so that's what we uh, studied in this uh, session and uh, as i already uh, as i always advise the students are advised to uh, read the study material and to read the reference books for the detailed account of the hormone action thank you